Welcome to Lecture Online and to get a better understanding for the standard form of the quadratic equation, for the standard form of the parabola, let's go ahead and compare the standard form to the traditional form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So again, this is the equation for the standard form that we use when the vertex is on the, on the origin and this is the one that we use when the vertex is at hk, h being the x-coordinate and k being the y-coordinate of the vertex. So we're going to expand this equation, and when we do, this becomes x squared minus 2hx plus h squared is equal to, and we're going to multiply this out, so we get 4p times y minus 4p times, oop, I was going to write x, but it's actually k, isn't it? There we go, and k. All right, so now we're going to make this equation look like that equation. So that means I need my 4py on the left side. I'm going to take the whole equation, turn it around, and bring this to the other side. So we end up with 4py is equal to x squared minus 2hx plus h squared. And when we bring this across, it becomes positive. We turn the equation around, so it becomes plus 4pk. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient here, 4p, so we have y isolated just like we have over there. So divide both sides by 4p, so divide the left side by 4p, divide the right side by 4p. So when we do that, we get y is equal to 1 over 4p times x squared minus 2h divided by 4p times x. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, plus, I'm going to take this one first, so 4pk divided by 4p, and then plus we have the h squared here divided by 4p. All right, now simplifying this a little bit more, so we end up with y is equal to 1 over 4p times x squared. Here the 2 and the 4 uh, reduced, that becomes h divided by 2p times x. Here this cancels out, so we get plus k plus h divided by 4p. Let me put brackets around that like that. And oh, it's an h square. I can't forget the square there. Okay, otherwise it wouldn't work out. So h squared over 4p. So now you can see that we have the equation in the very same form as we have it over here, which means that if I compare the two, that a is equal to 1 over 4p. Put a circle around that. You can say that b is equal to minus h divided by 2p. Put a circle around that. And finally, we can say that c is equal to k plus h squared divided by 4p. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the tables and we're going to solve this equation for p and then solve the equation for h and solve the equation for k, because we want to have an expression in terms of a, b, and c, what p, h, and k are equal to, so that we can compare, we can go back and forth between the standard form of the parabola and the quadratic equation like that. So if we do that, we can see that p and a can be interchanged, which means that p is equal to 1 over 4a. And let me put a box around that one. So all I did was move the P over here and put the A down there. So P is equal to 1 over 4A. So if I have a quadratic equation and it's written in this form and I know what A is equal to, I can find P, which is the distance from the vertex to the focus or from the distance to, of the vertex to the directrix, and simply say that's equal to 1 divided by 4A. And let's put that over there. We can then say that P is equal to 1 divided by 4A. All right, now that we know that, now we're going to solve for h. So if I take this equation, solve for h, I can simply move the negative to the other side, take the 2p, move to the other side, and so this then becomes h is equal to negative 2b times p, and we'll put a box around that one. Again, you can see, I move the negative to the other side, move the 2 over here, move the p over there, so we have h equals 2bp, and so we can go ahead and put that here as well. So the h is, of course, the x-coordinate of the vertex is equal then to uh, 2bp, 2bp. Oh, wait a minute, I'm not done yet. Let me, because I don't want to leave it in terms of p. I know that p is equal to 1 over 4a, so let's go ahead and 
not yet put a box we'll around that. Replace p by one over four a, so therefore h is equal to minus two b divided by four a, and the two and the four cancels out, so h can be written as minus b over two a. That's actually better. All right, the vertex that is minus b over two a, and let's put that over there. H equals minus b over two a. And so we can put a box around that one. That's a better equation. And finally, I can now go ahead and solve for k in terms of c and h because h is already known and c would come out of the equation. So let's go ahead and take this equation right here, bring it over here. There's an arrow, and then we have k is therefore equal to c minus, bringing this over to the other side, h squared divided by 4p. And since I know what h squared is and I know what 4p is, I can then say that k is equal to c minus h squared, which is that right there, which would be, uh, would be b squared over 2a, or actually 2a squared, which is 4a squared. So you can see that h squared is simply b squared over 4a squared. And then I multiply the times 1 over 4 p, and since p is 1 over 4a, I can go 1 divided by 4a like this. Now, simplifying that, I can see that this 4 and this 4 cancels out, so I have 1 over a, and then this a and this a cancels out, so I'm left with k is equal to c minus b squared divided by 4a. And that I can put a box around it because now I have k expressed in terms of a, b, and c. So let's put that over here. And so we can say that k is equal to c minus b squared over 4a. All right, so now we have expressions for p, h, and k. So if we have an equation in this form, the quadratic equation, then we can, then we can transfer that to the standard form by knowing that p is equal to 1 over 4a, h is equal to minus b over 2a, and k is equal to c minus b squared over 4a. So that's how we do that. And we're going to use that now, that information, that knowledge now, to go ahead and solve for equations, learn how to graph them, learn how to take the standard form and graph the equation, learn how to go back and forth between the standard form and the quadratic form. And so if you're still interested, stay tuned, and we'll have some more videos for you.